Alright, welcome back guys. Today we're doing yet another code chef problem. We've moved on to easy. Oh, big news, right? Uh, we're doing racing horses today. So you could read this um, prompt for yourself, but long story short, they're asking for T number of test cases. And in each test case, there are N number of horses. And for each horse in that number of N horses, there's a skill level. So what they want to do is they want to find the minimum difference in each iteration to make sure that the race is as close as possible. They give you the constraints as they always do. They also give you sample input and expected output. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the user for how many test cases. So that's the easiest part so far. Number of tests equal in the parse. We just wanna make sure that the input is a integer. So that takes care of that, right? So the next part is we actually have to take in the skill list. And I'm going to use a list to, oh, not skill list. That's what I was going to name the variable. We're going to take, uh, we're going to use a list of ints to store the value of the skills of each horse in each iteration. So we're going to do that by doing list int skill list. As I said, I would name it new list ah uh, yes I uh, forgot if remember that if you're gonna use a list you have to do oh my goodness collections that generic <clears throat> and then we're gonna make another list that's gonna be just there to hold the differences between each horse. So skill list is going to carry the skills of each horse in an iteration. Differences is going to have obviously the differences of all the horses in that same iteration. So next we're going to dive into the actual loop here. So the first thing that we have to do in each iteration is we have to find out how many horses are in that current iteration that we're asking for. So we have to take some input here. So int num of horses equal. Let's make sure that the user gives us an int. Okay, so this is asking for how many horses in each iteration no and uh I don't, that is accurate but in uh in this current iteration this is a little bit more clear i guess moving forward so the next part is after we find out how many horses we have to take in the skill levels of each and coach f really likes it when you do it as a single line with spaces in between them so we'll take care of that by saying user input equals console.readline dot split and let's make sure that it's gonna split it by white space. So now if the user puts in three horses um, as a number of horses and then they put one, two, three with spaces in between them, we need to extract those values one, two, three, because those are the skill levels. So we're going to do that by doing this. Oh, not hor not test, it should be horses. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get that list that we made that's supposed to carry all the skills. I'm sorry, not skills, skill levels. And we're going to convert this, all the input that was here from a string to an int like so, and for each value that was given, we're gonna make sure that it's an int now. So that's actually done for that. So that's what this does. Makes all the uh, skill levels input that were separated by white space into separate in integer values. And uh, 
skill list list. Probably shouldn't call it skill list. It's gonna be very confusing to say skill list list. Anyways, uh, so once we have all the skills in there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do skill list dot sort. It's a very expensive thing to do, but again, I'm not really doing it for. I'm trying to be resource friendly, so bear with me. Now, what's next? We're gonna loop around for number of horses again. And we're gonna get the differences. So how are we gonna get the differences? We're gonna say differences.add, right? What are we adding? Well, we're gonna use link in order to get the first value and the second value and subtract the second from the first to get the difference and then store that in this list called differences. So the way we do that is we say skill list that skip one from the first. So if you were to get the this is actually getting the second value. If you wanted to get the first value, you would do skill list that first, right? So the logic pretty much makes sense. If this is getting you the first value, then this it's the second value because you're skipping one from the first and uh, we are missing assembly um, using system not link right so once we have that once that number difference between the second and the first one is there and again they're going from ascending order so the smallest one say the two numbers are, or three numbers that are put in were one two three the first number is one after we sorted. The second number is two, so we're subtracting two from one. So we have one, and that's the difference that will be added in this iteration so far. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna remove the first value by doing this. So we're removing the very first value that comes out, which is the skill list uh, dot first. And why do we do that? Because if the values put in one, were one, two, three, this is one in the first iteration. This is two, and we still have thir uh, number three that's sitting outside. So after we do this, two minus one, value one. I mean, value two subtracted by value one, and we get that difference. We can remove value number one, right? So in the next iteration, this value skill that first is actually the two with the second value but the second value is now the first value because we just removed number one and this is now equal to the three so now this is three three minus two that's uh <laughs> as best that i can summarize that so last thing we're going to do is actually output the difference of each iteration you see we are at the end of this bigger loop right these are the smaller uh, inner loops it's the end of the big loop so what are we gonna do we're gonna print out the last value or the smallest value inside the difference of the current iteration and then we're just going to clear the data that were in the list so we can start over a new everything that we just did we can redo it in every other iteration of i so let's run this thing okay so the values that they put in are one test case five horses skill ratings are four nine one thirty two and thirteen so we should get three Amazing. <laughs> Why did that happen? Let's take a look. Um, it said it was line 61, which goes right to here. So what did we do wrong here? Oh, okay, this is it. We're we're going out of range. So the reason why we're doing we're doing it for number of horses minus one, is because on the first say we're on the first iteration, and this is value number one, this is value number two, right? So we're ready we're ready trying to access um, 
value number two before we even add that iteration, right? So that's not a really good explanation of it. I guess what I'm trying to say is like, you have a list one, two, three. So on turn one, you would normally expect just to deal with value one. But what we're doing is on turn one, we're accessing value one and value two. So that works just fine until you get to turn three when you're looking at this and this is value three what is the next value it's nothing it's not possible right so we're just going to cut it short once uh, one iteration because we already did the proper comparisons that we need to do so let's run that again that should solve the problem if not then oh boy we got a bigger logic logical error so 13, 3, there you go, done. Uh, so stick around for more Code Chef videos, um, as well as, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I my dr just drew blank there for a second. But anyways, the project files will be on GitHub as well as a link to the Code Chef problem. Um, still pushing some of the more practical examples for a little bit later. I clearly... I'm still practicing my explanation skills, so hopefully these videos are helpful. Thanks for watching. Good luck.